Hi, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskey. And today I have the 10 year old single cask I'm bottling with 63.2% ABV for Germany. I have the bottle number 156 from 161. And this is 126.4% proof. The bottle, um, the barrel number was L18065, and this is a 10-year-old, 115-euro um, bottle. We're, we're talking about 35, 135, 130 in American dollars. Amazing. So in the video I did the other day with the 7-year-old, I basically declared this a George Dickel because it says in the bottle on the back, um, distilled in, in Tennessee. Jack Daniel doesn't share their casts. Benjamin Pritchard, I've never seen a store pick before. Um, Corsair, no, they weren't there 10 years ago. It has to be George Dickel. 70% corn, aha, uh -huh, as well as the 20%, um, 26% rye and the 4% malted rye. Um, Three Badges is a company originally from California. Now it actually says on my bottle here, um, so bottled by Three Badge Beverage in Bartstown, Kentucky. So they have their own uh, bottling station now there. Very, very nice. And Three Badges because the grandfather actually was a firefighter and he received three different badges. Um, three Badges also produces Masterson rye, some excellent rye sourced from Canada. So my nose says for the 10-year-old George Dickel cast strength, Ooh, that's nice. I still have, every time I get George Dickel, I get this corn on the cob on the grill. I get popcorn without sugar or without salt. Over here in Germany, they put sugar on the popcorn. I remember the first time in the cinema, I took, I was like expecting salty popcorn. You get sweet and you spit it out because you think something went wrong. Um, this is just popcorn with nothing on it. But I also get a lot of this grassy notes, as in a mat, my pipe. Mate tea, a mate tea, um, just like a dried cut grass clippings. But I also go to some type of honey, a deep clove honey, and a little bit of the barrel, a little bit of the char. Three charge. I don't think they do charge four there. I think they're charged three there, George Dickel. Um, that char of the barrel after ten years. Bourbon is that's a long time. All right, I'm gonna nip. Can put some water in here, and then I'm gonna compare it to the seven year old as well as the regular small batch bib and Tucker. Bib and Tucker, of course, would be our Sunday best. Mmm. -hmm. Wow, that's bitter. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it um, without water, let's say that. So, the seven-year-old. Trying not, not to do a too healthy of a pour here. And uh, this small batch. I do like the bottles, though. My question of the day mm. is, what is the best-looking bourbon bottle out there? What is the best looking bourbon bottle out there? I personally love the gold number 27 from Jack Daniels. It kind of has a Fort Knox type of feeling. It's very 90 degrees, very solid, very stable, very thick glass. Um, just my personal opinion. What's your personal opinion? Which bottle, which bourbon bottle looks the best in your personal opinion? Now, Makers 46, I don't like as the bottle is a little bit too feminine. All right, and it has a very similar but a different design because of the color. Oh, I get that. Popcorn, I get a little bit of the green leaves. It's almost like you're chewing on a piece of grass over here. The seven-year-old, I get more of the mate tea. Um, a lot of the um, corn on the cob and popcorn as well. And the 10-year-old, I get a, um, a mixture. Imagine you put 70%. Um, 80, 90% um, George Dickel cast strength, and you put it like a 10% of, of George T. Stag, which is about the, 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 um, the pinnacle of woodiness in my, in my world. 
All right, I'm going to work on my way down. So I'm going to take the 10-year-old first. Mmm. Mmm. No real bitterness with water. It's smooth. It's nice. I'm still going to only give it a probably... This should have been a B plus, to be honest. And this is like a B minus. Sorry, this is a C plus, And this is a B minus. But I gave this my... My B minus. So I actually have to give this like a B. It's definitely better. But if I compared it to other Bs that I've given in the past, it wouldn't actually um, match. It wouldn't actually um, be able to hold its own with the other B whiskeys that I've given, even the B minus. So um, it's a B minus whiskey. This is a C plus, to be honest. I was just blinded by the price. That's $220 here in these two bottles. You can get six different bottles of Elijah Craig for that amount, which I would much, much, much rather have. Mm -mm. And now going on to the mm, wow, I didn't put enough water in this. It's it's okay. As I said, it's actually a, a C plus. All right, clear the palate once a little bit of water. Now going back to the original Bib and Tucker small batch. Um, by the way, over here in Germany, um, if you look at the bottle, it actually just they just. Put a sticker on top of the 750 ml and change it into a 700 ml which is standard over here we can sell it at 700 ml um that was very very interesting we have that happens a lot when the companies do not yet know how to um distribute to the european market in america you have 750 mls in europe we have 700 mls which makes a very big problem if you want to sell from europe over to america because you can't you can't say, hey, there's only certain sizes that are allowed, and 700 is not allowed in the States, but 750, you can't do it. But you, of course, you can take a 750 ml and sell it as a 700 ml, because no one cares if you get more. But if you get less, you're ripped off, and that's then um, a crime. Mm -mm. <laughs> All I get is this. It's almost the same. This is 46%, this is 45%. It's George Dickel, people. If you want to buy George Dickel, go buy George Dickel. You don't need to pay the um, the extra money for the wonderful bottle. It's not bad, but it's really, really not up my alley. Once again, the 7. Mm -hmm. And then the 10. Mmm. Mmm. This is the best of the rest. This is the best of all of them. But yet, $120 to buy this bottle, absolutely out of this world, no. <sighs> B minus, value for money, D minus, not my world. Um, as I said, there's 161 bottles out there of this in the world. I have bottled them 156. There's 193 bottles of this, and I have bottle number 129. Um, 82 euros, 114 euros. Are they worth it? No, definitely not. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for liking. Thank you very much for subscribing. And thank you very much for telling others about this crazy American over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys and single cask bib and tucker whiskeys I think are fairly rare and exotic. Have you seen them in the States? If so, write it down. My question of the day was, what is your favorite bourbon bottle? And I said, Jack Daniels Gold number 27. All right, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. See you soon.